By living as sustainably as possible, everyone can try to reduce their impact on our planet. 18th of March marks Global Recycling Day, which aims to raise awareness of how we should rethink our use of resources, as well as reducing and reusing our waste, something that is practiced throughout the Extreme Championship. Through its legacy programs, it aims to promote renewable energy and delivers long-lasting, sustainable solutions for the communities it visits. By joining forces with the Countersin community, Extreme e encourages its fans to take small steps to reduce their carbon footprint in their everyday life. On site, Extreme e has banned all single use plastic, avoiding the use of approximately 75,000 water bottles in season one. And through the championship's bring your own bowl policy, over 32,000 disposable plates and utensils were saved from the bin. The Odyssey 21 cars themselves have sustainable elements. A third of the Continental Cross Contact tyre is made from recycled rice husk silica and recycled plastic bottles. The cars are also charged sustainably via the on-site hydrogen fuel station provided by AFC Energy. Power needed for the event comes from a combination of solar panels, hydrogenated vegetable oil, generators and upcycled electric bus batteries from Zenobi. Even the championship's trophies are recycled as they are 3D printed using filament from consumer plastic waste. All of this and so many more sustainable practices are transported around the world on Extreme E's floating paddock, the St. Helena, which is estimated to have reduced freight emissions by 5,200 tonnes of CO2 throughout season one.